The world of tech is somewhat of an enigma. Some innovations, which may seem plausible and beneficial, are just fanciful speculations of our future that realistically would struggle to find a place in our everyday life. But then you do get some tech that is met with resistance purely because how drastically it will change our lifestyle and of course the necessity for it to do so. Take electric cars for example. Adaption to this new form of transport hasn't quite inspired the masses to ditch their conventional cars. And depending on your sentiments towards electric, you could easily argue for and against both scenarios mentioned earlier. But the future of transportation lies within the electric sphere regardless. So you better buckle up because there is a lot of cool tech coming our way. Stealing the limelight from their immersive 8K TVs and gaming consoles is an electric car from Sony. Yes, the ones who make the PlayStation. Well, this electric car is focused on safety, entertainment and adaptability according to Sony. The Vision S incorporates Sony's automotive focused imaging technology and is surrounded by an array of sensors Sony is calling the Safety Cocoon, which provides a Vision X with a 360 degree view of its environment and any potential hazards. View the Vision S as more of an endeavor to showcase what in-car tech could be rather than a ready-to-be-built electric car, as Sony say they have no intention whatsoever of putting the electric concept into production. Do you remember the movie Avatar? Wow, what a great movie. Well, since then, director James Cameron has promised his adoring fan base a sequel to the 2009 movie, but many may not have expected it to come in the form of an outlandish electric car from Mercedes-Benz. Cameron and his team collaborated with Mercedes-Benz to make the 100% recyclable Avatar, which took two years to build. The car is long and low with illuminated wheels, and it looks like it would be at home in a futuristic jungle, featuring rear-mounted bionic flaps that resemble a lizard's scales. Each flap works in unison to assist the car's handling and solar panels to help power the vehicle. Now, much of what you see here is unlikely to make it any further than the show floors, but it will be their poster child for their electric endeavors going forward. And let's hope we'll get a proper sequel to Avatar the movie. When Fisker arrived on the scene, they had ambitions to tackle the electric juggernaut that is Tesla. Suffice to say that their goals didn't quite materialize, but now they're back and with, you guessed it, an SUV. The Ocean is the first in a trio of electric vehicles Fisker says it has planned for the coming years, with production of this crossover beginning in the second quarter of 2021. Now details of what electric motors it will have have not been released as yet, but Fisker does claim a 0-100 km an hour sprint time of 2.9 seconds and buyers will also have the option of choosing two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The Ocean will only be available on a lease plan where customers have the option to opt out at any time.